All right. So I'm going to go through pretty much a blank start because I was trying Star Citizen for the first time in a long time uh, over the last couple of days, and uh, I, I died um, trying to do a Xeno Threat mission. And I then figured out um, through the help of the uh, global chat that I could recover my stuff if someone didn't take it from my body. So I got it. I recovered my body and actually had a pretty good time um, getting there um, and doing that. Um, then I went and did some packages, uh, delivering packages. And th that was that was fun, really good um, environment pretty good money and uh, I was wrapping things up for the night I thought things were great and I uh, was in the metro center of um, New Babbage and I took a screenshot of all my stuff that I had recovered um, with my inventory and myself there and uh, when I alt tab back from the print screen um, it uh, crashed and unlike when I died before, where I could see my body and where it was and all that kind of stuff, this time it was just, uh, it moved, made the, like, you've been disconnected from the server kind of sound, or you've died, and black screen. Um, and yeah, when I logged back in, there was no marker, went exactly back where I was, and there wasn't anything there at all. So, yeah. So I'm starting from scratch. Uh, I've lost all that I've had there. I think there may be one gun inside my Pisces, which we'll be running today, because uh, we're going to try to re-equip up minimally. Um, I, I had uh, armor on and all that stuff for running a package mission. I had intended to run the Xeno Threat mission, so I had uh, several thousand rounds of assorted ammunition and two different guns. Well, yeah, two different guns and uh, all kinds of um, um, medi pins and drug pens and all that kind of stuff. I was fully decked out. We're going to do a minimum amount of that, so I'll kind of show um, kind of a noob uh, restarting <laughs> from scratch. Uh, I will have cash. Um, I did make a little bit of money yesterday, so we'll, we'll use a minimum amount of that um, and just see what we can make running package missions with the Pisces. All right, let's go. We should be starting back at New Babbage. I used the um, medical place to set my spot there. It's a pretty good spot. I'm going to make that my home world from now on. I, I was Lorville, but Lorville's not as cool as it used to be. Thought I'd go ahead and show the loading screen. All this is in real time. Being recorded on a 4090. Okay, she's. My character's female, and uh, yeah, let's get up. She's in her skivvies because that's literally all we have left. Do my eye? Nothing. Nothing. So, um, all right. Well, I guess we got to go buy some stuff, right? Don't know if I can even. Yeah, I can't pick that up, so I don't need a mug. Let's get going. Um, chat was very helpful. Global chat yesterday. Everybody was really great. I had a couple of noob questions, and it, people had uh, people had really good answers. You know, it's some some snarky ones, of course, but I like the snarky ones anyway. But uh, yeah, it was really good. Everybody seemed to be really good. I encountered a couple of players when I was doing my deliveries. They were also doing deliveries. Uh, I think they were actually in areas where they shouldn't have been able to shoot me like this. Um, but uh, we, we all we all got along. It's just fine. All right. Um, so I do need some food and water. So let's go over to this place over here. All right. Oh, good. I can buy. Ooh, I can. <laughs> I really want to say something about purchase options in the state I, com I come from but um, anyway look at this a nice little little quick market um, all right so hmm, this is just flat water which is fine so let's do 
couple of these. I don't know if I actually ended up getting them, because usually I thought when I did that before, I don't know what's going on with that. I thought when I did that before it ended up in my hands. Um, okay. So I don't know what's going on with the server. We will try it again. Okay, I don't know why that's off. Click buy. Okay, I guess maybe I just have to quit spazzing out. Alright, so we're going to back up so she'll carry that and then we'll back up further so we don't end up in there. I, th I think I just got to get used to the fact that it she's going to put this now this notice this this local is a new babbage so if i go to new babbage if i die this is going to stay in new babbage not a problem the problem is when you actually start putting it on your body then you can lose it and new babbage versus another place means that you have to be in new babbage to get this um, this i think is going to be changing soon but this is the way it is right now that's the way i understand it uh, again noob all right so it's, it's probably a way to better do this, but wait, did they have a, yeah, they have a store. So this can simplify this real quick. So, oh, hey, I can put clothes on her. Bench her legs. All right. Okay. Well, let's, let's choose. I'm going to go ahead and hide the global chat for a minute. Um, I was hoping for like <laughs> some kind of food category would be great. Consumables. There we go. Ooh, drinks. Let's do drinks first. Cruise dark. I didn't even know they had a cruise dark. So we've got water. Let's um let's buy okay, so we have thirty-three one oh five right now. So let's um let's buy I don't know, like three water? got one let's buy three more it's a little bit more than I want and now let's do food <laughs> well they've got some godmother sandwich uh, okay I, I just want some kind of bar and I want a cheap bar is this Let's just do Buster's chocolate. Let's do this. It's probably not as healthy as this. Energizing, hypermetabolic, dehydrating. Oh. Snaggle stick? Hypertropic? Okay, so we're just going to stick with this because um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. And we'll zero and. You know, I didn't, I actually didn't use the two bars that I had yesterday. My food seemed to be going really slow, uh, but I was drinking a drink that gave you some food. So maybe that'll change, but it's not that bad to get over here. Um, okay. All right. So let's look at the non-food items that they have. I do need an undersuit. Minus 30 degrees is a little lower than what I'd like. I mean, I want to hire, I want to be able to, man, that's expensive. Oh, that's a volume. 1K. Well, I mean, it's not great. I like to be minus 60 C on my rating. But, you know, hey, we're, we're kind of starting from scratch here. So let's start here with, with that. We don't need any armor. Um, she's going to have clothes now when I put this on, so uh, we won't look... Um, crazy. I, I, I really want to equip a gun and all that stuff, but bottom line is um, I shouldn't need one. So what else do I need to do my job? She does not have a helmet, right? Yeah, she does not have a helmet. So we need to put a helmet on so we do not die. About the same temperature. It just kind of irks me because I, I have a lot of stuff um, from the pledge that I made and all all of that almost all of that's gone I guess there's still some back at my regular home which is um, 
at Lorville, but I'm not going back there. It takes too long anyway. Um, uh, I don't know if that has a light. Let's let's equip all of that and see. All right, so it's hard not to buy a gun. But oh, I need a backpack. I need a backpack. Um, utility. Sorry, miscellaneous. That is really miscellaneous. I hope that sound is someone coming in. Backpacks. Alright. Let's get dressed before some perv uh, takes advantage of us over here. Yeah. Okay, well he's being good over there. Nice. He's got clothes on. Bless his heart. Alright. So, um... Get this on real fast. Dude. Okay, well, that's my fault. Let's go over here. Alright. Alright. It's probably something dumb. I don't think this is it. I think I need base armor to put on, put that on. Yeah, I think I need the base armor to do that with. Uh. Hey, what do you know? Okay, well there's another one over here. I don't know what that is. Torso. Okay. Sorry for that quick move, but, uh, I mean, CIG really needs to tell you that, uh, like the other day when I first started, I couldn't get anything on because I didn't know that I had to take my tennis shoes off before I could equip my Ender suit because it contains boots. Which makes sense once you know that, but would it really kill him to pop something up when you drop something and say, you're wearing shoes? Okay. Mm, for half billion dollars or more, um, seems like something they could do. Alright, um... Uh, I don't do okay, so I do need to put stuff in my clothing sustenance, right? We want to, otherwise everything's going to stay local, and when I go out on the road, it will disappear. So we're going to put this in. Oh, we need uh, med pens and stuff if we can. Okay, I didn't need one split out anyway, so that's fine. All right. So yeah, right now I don't have anything. We. I feel like we want a med pen. Excuse me there, buddy. Is that anything we can get here? Okay. Well, I, I'm kind of half blind, but I don't see it. We could go back. Um, actually, that's see if we can find it. I think there is a doctor here somewhere. It's a grand where we came from. Uh, it's the apartments.
medical rooms. Okay, I'm not sure right here. Oh, Brentworth Care Center. Gosh, I was staring right at it. I'm used to the, like St. Mary's Heart or whatever in uh, Lowerville. Okay. Uh, Honesty is the best medicine. We rely on you I think this is where you check into a room. And I don't think you can do... Yeah, I think if you touch that... I think I did that yesterday and it just tells you where the room is. Oh, we want pharmacy. For pharmacy. Please check with the unit. Lock. How may I help you? So I'm recording this in some 4K and I am recording it in 4K. And there is a little bit more lag than I had yesterday without it, but it's not too bad. Hey, where's the terminals? Okay, here we go. This is this is so at scale from Lowerville. I'm definitely moving here. Alright, um, Dying would be bad, but yeah, let's buy two of these. And I didn't end up needing one of those, but let's just, it just feels wrong not to have two oxygen pens. All right, so. You can do the math there. We now have 26885 in our wallet. Mm. So if you're starting off. And for some reason you don't have that. I don't know what the heck you would do. But from what I can see what the missions that we're going to run are for good starters. Okay. I am lost, but that's okay. Um... So this is kind of normal for Star Citizens. The AIs are still being worked on, so it's not uncommon for an AI to stand on a chair. Um, but hey, they look good doing it. This one's sitting down, and there's been times when everyone would stand on the chair, or everyone would stand on the same chair. So hey, this is an improvement. Um, I can relate to this guy. <laughs> that's me, hiding from everyone, not trying not to get a cold. Yep, that's me. All right, so let's find the metro line, which is obviously going to be wherever I'm not looking. Okay, metro loop, going down, I guess. Is that an elevator? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and try to run through here. Try to minimize my turns. I get motion sick very easy, so I understand. All right, so we're going to take the spaceport loop. Oh, let's run, run. Can we make it? Can we make it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll take a tour. So I came over here yesterday and this is where this is where I lost all my stuff. It's still not here. I was right here. I was taking a little selfie shot like this. And uh hit print screen. I'll tab over to a Microsoft Paint that I had going, pasted it in there, I'll tab to back, and boom, wait. Oh, the, this is the wrong one anyway, right? Toby Center. This one is to the spaceport. Oh no. The capsule will be leaving right. the station momentarily. Yeah, but where are you going? Commons. Well, we'll find out. This could be a this could be a long ride of depression. Next stop, Tobin Center. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. So that's cool. Oh, anyway. This is New Babbage. Really fierce snowstorms and stuff here. It's uh, gorgeous today though. Tractors jumped up there and get something just went right through us and something else. So I still got some bugs to work out of this, but feels like you're going somewhere. Mm. That's when they cross lines there. There's the divider in the in the center that they use, and that's what flips over. Okay, so 
This is the commons. We're not going there. So we're going to stay on board. <laughs> All right. Alright, the common, so this is where we're going. Four seconds, not bad. Oh no, this can't be right. Because we've got to go across the road. I mean, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so the term for this is uh, Lima Lima Mike Foxtrot. Dodge is a noob. Um, I have been able to successfully navigate in the past, though. So there's that. That's the spaceport right there, uh, directly ahead on the hill. So that's where we want to end up going. Good uh, next stop. NBIS terminal. Did we accidentally end up on the right thing? That does look like a uh, spaceport. We are. Sweet. I think we made it to the spaceport anyway. Nearing next stop. You say that, and yet... New Babbage and the Stella Spaceport. Sweet. Alright, cool. Now that I think to tell you, um... You will see, like, boxes on the floor. Sometimes it's trash. In New Babbage, it's usually not trash. It's real people's trash, where, um... Someone has dropped their, uh, medical gown or something like that and just left it on the floor but you know it, it if you're looking f to score something uh, I've seen I've seen good stuff there and sometimes you'll find empty bottles in convenience stores and stuff but sometimes people are new and they drop their full drinks or half full drinks on the ground accidentally so yeah sometimes it pays to uh to look at that and find out what people are dropping because uh, you know sometimes it's trash sometimes it is free goodies all right scan gate spaceport lobby we can take a little look out here so we came from uh, in town there, New Babbage, and went on those metro lines that are going across there. The uh, bottom middle. These things are cute. I think I have one yet. From all of us at Microtech, welcome to the New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport. Lorville. Okay, so if you have a, a surface vehicle and you want to go out and explore New Babbage, then you can come over here to one of these screens and spawn it. Right there, for ground vehicles. Now we want to find the one for a regular spaceport. This is commercial flight, so we're not going that way. Looking for a good time? Be sure to visit Wally's Bar at the Promenade. Only a quick ride on the metro. Oh, hangers. Okay, here we go. And yes, I heard the announcement. From all of us at Microtech, welcome to the new welcome to the ASOT vehicle retrieval system. All right, I'm retrieve my Pathfinder here, which I think came with my Carrick. Good, my uh, Hornet is the one that got shot down, and I did a Location insurance the the process the insurance paperwork yesterday, so it's all ready to go today. To the all right, Hangar Three. Please visit us again. Alright. 
So yeah, they make certain operations take a while, but other operations are normal. I mean, that, that seemed very reasonable. They sped that up. It was faster than real time to get there. And I think they've done a good job managing how long it takes to travel. That was my general, f the general feeling I got. Trying it out. I, I've been playing it off and on since they started and um, it's been bad before. Oh, okay, good. So my, this weapon right here is still here. And it is loaded with some ammunition. I just don't know what kind it takes. I'm actually not sure why it's not letting me try to pick it up right now. That's probably not great, but... Oh, here it is. Is this it? Oh, it's like trying to interact with this thing over here, right? Huh. So I... I guess that's kind of foobar. What I like about the spices is you have uh, jump seats right here. So you can haul three people and whatever you can cram in the back. And this is great for these package missions. Which we should, uh, should get one here. Let's get seated. It's a good little ship. I like it. Alright, power on. Flight ready. Alright, we're going to request takeoff. You are clear to launch. I don't know why that's so quiet. We'll do the behind view, just so you can see me take off. Whee! Don't forget to bring in the landing gear. You don't look like a noob, and then just don't move anything. And then get out of the way. I don't hang out here in people's way. Thank you, and please visit again. I use the F1 method of bringing myself back to the internal view instead of just hitting F4 twice, uh, which is a bad habit I've gotten into because I'm a noob. Uh, we're going to increase our speed here. Get that was about 300 here. Razor angle. If there's an obvious way to tell that you're out of the atmosphere, I haven't found it. I mean, we don't have any um, water or moisture on our screen anymore, but in general, 7,000 is not enough to be considered out. So. I think that they, whatever the atmosphere is for the planet, there should just be a little, a little green tape or something that says that you're out over on the altim, altim, ultimate, <laughs> the altimeter side. That'd be great. Okay, so we're just gonna slow back down. Um, like I said, I don't know if we're up high enough. We're just gonna pivot back down and look at New Babbage. There we go. I think we came. Uh, did we come from over there? Or did we come from over here? Yeah, we came from over here, right? It'd be behind us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there's the spaceport we took off from. And we'll just screw back. Good clouds and stuff. That It doesn't seem to be too bad. I think I'm going to have to go a little higher to be able to quantum leap. But let's uh, pull a, get our contract. Hopefully there's some package contracts to go, because if not, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, don't know why I hit that, so the contract manager, but let's do this. Local delivery route. Okay, so this is a to pick up to drop off. I hear this can be problematic, or it was problematic before. I, the last one I did was to pick up to drop off, and it was fine. Um, we'll just see if there's a single. It'll be 3,000. Ooh, three package. Okay. Okay, so one pick up, one drop off. You got to pick it up on Cleo, which is an outer planet, and bring it back. I uh, not too keen on that. Wow, these are two different uh, planets in the system. So why wow, you just don't know what you're gonna get? What's the double? Yeah, 
two from there. Wow. All right, we're gonna take this one. We're gonna take this one real quick because it's both here. All right. So now you can go into your accepted. So we want to pull Calhoun or Rayari Deltana first. Whichever. Which one? Whichever of those is closest. Okay. Now we want to go in Skyline. We're over here. As you can see, there are markers. They're going to redo this planet map from a heck. Clicking and holding the left mouse button kind of lets you do that. The middle mouse button just lets you zoom in. And left again and then right reorb does the whole thing. So this doesn't seem to me to be enough to do Bo Diddly anything. All right, so this doesn't look too far. So, oh, it's over there. Can we click here? Can we click here? No. It's it's really a priceless uh, thing. Ha! Ah! Like I don't I don't even know what's up with that. Sorry, I screamed. Um. Yeah, don't double click because then that zooms you. Like I said, they're going to do a way with this. We should see the route change over here and here once we actually manage to click it. Calhoun Pass Emergency. Okay, now we're here. We're going to make sure we hit set route. See so how much quantum fuel we're going to use. We're going to get the H out of this as fast as we can. Um, this ship doesn't do a good job of pointing out where you're at. We're going to follow this little thing. Yeah, now this seems crazy. Okay, we're going to hit B to spin up our quantum drive. We're going to watch this until it gets up to 100% in the center. And then it's going to calibrate. It looks like we're going to leap right through the planet. This is, I don't know if they're going to change this or not. It's fine with me. You couldn't use to jump at all, but now you can jump. You just have to aim this way. Um, I'm not sure why we've seen 0% calibration. Maybe I need to move a little bit closer. I'm going to come up and come back down. I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to just hold B, I bet, I bet we don't go anywhere. Alright, that must be the other one or something, you know what I mean? The other package that we're supposed to get. Oh, here it is. See this line, the green line on my screen? That's finally it. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. Is it trying to tell me it's directly behind me? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I don't know why it's sitting on the edge of my HUD like that. That little bitty useless line. Okay, okay. Press and hold B to jump, and obviously, we don't want to, we don't want to jump into the planet, so here we go. So you generally want to keep your quantum drive spun up. We're, there's a little satellite indicator on the top, right? Which means that it is a, if someone kills you out here, at least they're going to get a crime stat for it. Um, so that's good. Anyway, um, if you keep your quantum drive spooled up, then you can try to jump out. You won't have to wait for it to spool um, in case someone comes after you. Hopefully, it won't come to that. You want to constantly watch your altitude. 
because um, we're 13 kilometers away, but we're only seven kilometers high. So a common new problem that I got out of my system, I hope, is uh, coming in hot and crashing into your target. Uh, yeah. So it does take a little while to slow down. So as we get closer, I will shallow up here a little bit. Looks like it's either just about to get dark or starting to get sunny. Slow down, slow my roll here. There we go. What a nice little sunset on the mountains over there. It's gorgeous. I love the atmospheric effects and everything that they have now. It's wonderful. Ooh, who'd have thought this was green instead of grass? Oh, I think this is a place. Yeah, I was here. I was here uh, yesterday, I believe. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shift over to this. Put our gear down over here. Get out of here before anyone finds us. Oh. Make it look like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Here we go. Control to get down. Landing on some daisies. There we go. And we're down. F4... Back in the cockpit. Now we're going to power off, which I don't like to do, but it's the only way. I tried to not power off the other day, got out of my chair with a Y, and it took off, which was not what I was after, so. Alright, let's go grab our first package. Ignore the uh, beautiful flowers that are clipping through the. clipping through the Pisces here. Considering what what the team has done, I mean this. I mean, look at this. It's gorgeous, and you can imagine that you know there'll be a time when wildlife will come up to you and greet you, and not always in a good way. So let's just go you know, over here, get our package. Nice little marker for that, and notice the package number is displayed. And when you we go to deliver, it'll the, the package number will be on the package that we see, and it will be on our target. So we can go. Okay, I need seven 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 to there when you have multiple packages. Boy, that is nice. I must say. All right. So here's our package. So we just F carry, grab it, and go. I've seen people uh, look around these for things to uh, <coughs> liberate. Uh, which is fine, especially if you're uh, a noob. I don't know if you get in any trouble or not. The person I saw do it the other day didn't seem to with this version. So, ooh, it's, it sounded like it must be a he heavy package. All right, love this little Pisces. It's perfect. All right, so come back over here, and we're going to F to place. And we can't really see where we're placing it, but it's over here in the screen, so there we go. All right, package number one done. Close the door. Don't dally because we don't want to attract any attention. I'm going to stay somewhere, the more at risk you are for shenanigans. And I do not like shenanigans. A lot of dodge. Because I have my quantum drive on, we're quantum driving now. So it'll be spooled up soon. I don't know why there's a major torque imbalance. Maybe because of boosting. I am trying to haul, but. Yeah, so my quantum field is all full, so we should be basically able to do this without any quantum field problem. Yeah, so I did, I think I made, I did two missions, made about 9k yesterday, and I used maybe a little over, well, let's call it three quarters of the Pisces quantum field, and I think it was like 93 credits to fill up, so it's reasonable. I mean, that's all subject to change, but right now it's reasonable. So that's our drop off out there. So we mark her right here. So we could go drop this off, but we know there's another pickup on this planet. So we want to try to find that first. Uh, I'm pretty sure we want to find it first. All right. 
Shubin is where I was the other day, yesterday, that was really nice. I think it was both of those places. Anyway, um, let's check our contract, see where this, well, let's check Skyline, see where, see where it is on here. It might, it might be easier just to turn around and look in the ship. Okay, so this pickup package is where we're going to want to go. Like, there should be a way to turn this other axis, you know what I mean? So it looks like it's quite a ways away. It looks like it's on the back side of the planet. We might just jump here. I don't know what I'm doing, but this this is working pretty good. I just can't see where the pickup package marker is. It seems to be moving with us, but we're we're able to rotate, so there's Okay, it's right here. It's okay, so it's right here. Very carefully, so as not to scare it. Looking all in here and trying to find it a little closer. Oh, it's changed here. Set route. Fuel set. All okay. right. All right. Try to see. Right now, there's no little green thing at all. Those are normal ones. Let's just rotate until we find one. It's probably going to be under us. All right, and since we're spooled, just have to wait to calibrate, get her centered, and shazam, press and hold B, and that's rock. Oh good, we're going to be upside down. Mm, I don't think I raised my landing gear. It used to be you blew up when you didn't do that, so it's really nice that they auto-raise your landing gear now for you. That's, that's a reasonable amount of time to jump. I think they've done a really good job timing that. I'll probably say that a bunch more before this is over with, but it used to be really bad. And from what I understand, you can upgrade your quantum engine and then your quantum jumps are even faster. So. Quantum drive is now mm -hmm. off. Alright. I just like to be oriented here. Alright, so we're on the dark side of the planet now, right? So. I like to be about 300. Um, so we're going to press and hold the V and let go, and that does a ping. And so we kind of get the topography, so you can use that to hold stay alive. Otherwise, you know, not so safe. Again, what's not again, I don't think I mentioned it. What's really amazing about this is unlike Starfield, you're not going through any late save screens, load screens, whatever. It's it's all it's all happening on the fly. There's once you start the game, it's all streaming in and streaming out. Shook a lot of infrastructure, so hats off. Good job everybody. Close here, I'm back off to 200. Another ping. Some big hills over there. Some weather. Okay, okay. 
slow my roll down. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and switch to uh, turn the lights on. Okay, and we'll go outside. Try to find a place. Here's the landing pad. Oh, this landing pad over here, so we're gonna strafe our way over. Oh, back F1 again. Let's uh, reorient to ourselves here. Alright. Gear down. Landing gear deployed. Hmm. Try how to swing my little rear end out. So good straight. Straight. Okay. And I'll do it this way this time. Package is over on the right, 153 meters. Landing complete. Landing complete. So the drill. Power down. All systems offline. It up, it's not dally, so we don't plus any well, turn my head while doing that, just to make your things worse. All right, getting cold quick. Usually, I close my door, I'm not going to go back and close it now, but. It's a good practice to be in, because if no one if no one can open your door, then they won't be able to get in your big ship. It's, uh, I have big ships. Why am I not using them? Because it's a lot more quantum fuel, and it's a bigger target. I don't want to lose my big ship. It's just not worth it. Pisces is perfect for this kind of stuff. All right. It's over here somewhere, then. There we go. Alright. Hopefully we don't fall down the stairs this time. Alright. So, where did I park my ship? Pisces is over here. Okay. I think uninitialized means I could name my ship. Minus 22, well within our tolerances of suit can handle minus 30 something, so. Should be groovy. It's a gorgeous game, I'll stop here for a minute because I don't see anybody. Kind of look around, see the planets up there. That planet, there's a planet over there by that nebula. You can go to that planet. It's really, it's really there. That's it's just amazing. It's not a skybox. Uh, there probably is a skybox here, but like that particular planet where you at planet. That planet, it's not a skybox. Okay, let's get going. Oh, and you do have your own flashlight, which I actually want to confirm. It's kind of a piddly, piddly light on this helmet. All right, some guy left the ramp open, so not to worry about that. And it's T for torch, UK version of flashlight. And we'll just put this package over here by the other one. So, so F and place. And there looks good. Right there, there we go. Our two pickups. And let's get to the pilot seat. Alright. Flight ready. Anthem Aerospace. All systems online. Alright. This time putting up our gear and for gear.
it's my understanding that when you're in the red, you're at more risk of having damage done to your ship. So that's why I do what I do. A little red, not too much red. Fourteen thousand's been working for me for these last couple, so I'm gonna level off there. All right. All right. There we go. All right. So let's uh, find out what we've where our delivery should be. Accepted. So we have a delivery at. Another one on Microtech, so Shubin. Uh, we've got to come back to Shubin anyway. So we could go to Calipi. If this one isn't right next to us, then we'll do we'll do the uh, Calipi jump. So to Skyline. Oh, and they're adding a local map, hopefully in the next release as well, which will be great. And it'll start off on the local map and you can zoom out of this. Alright, um, so that looks like a package thing to me, doesn't it? Does it not? It's just weird, like, y you saw that I, before I was able to zoom right in. And now it does this, like, see what that, so now I can, right? Like, what, 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 what's up with that? I think if you click here or something, then you get more points. Sometimes that works. You click somewhere else and you get all the, the points. I don't... Like I'm, I'm <coughs> excuse me. I can't seem to get to the back side of this. I can move this on either side. I swear Shubin SM10 is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, look, now we can do it. Click, 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 click. really hard not to double click because that's your instinct is to like double click and select this but nothing's happening right so that'll just zoom us out and it's a good way to just give up I mean I, I gotta gotta admit that which we will do Okay, see that was easy. Set route. Alright. It's confirming I see the package there. Alright. We should see a line on our HUD indicating where it is, but we don't see anything. I just happened to look out and swing right down onto it. That was just luck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, here we go. Alright, 54 minutes recording so far. And jumping. Oh, look at the sunrise. Or sunset, depending on which way we're pointing right now. Zero nine 9 degrees, sunrise. Yeah, it's rising, look at that. That had been if that if that was in VR it would be gorgeous. I just think I'd I would not be feeling good. Okay, we're here. Okay, we're boring. My software down is down. Makes me feel better. But the ship doesn't care. Say twenty four kilometers, okay. It's just nice. I, I mean, I, I get how this could be boring, 
I like it. I'm going from different parts of the planet. I mean, there's nothing to stop me from going around there and exploring. If I had a mining tool, I could look for stuff to mine. Um, depending on where you're at, it's going to be more effective than others. The beautiful flora and fauna. Um, but these planets are really planet scale sized. You know, they're really they're really huge and they're alive. You see, the clouds are actually volumetric, but they they actually exist in 3D space. Um, a lot of work has gone into this. Just a lot of cleanup needs to happen. In cases like with this map, they knew they were going to replace it, so they didn't want to spend too much time trying to fix it. They're just replacing the whole thing. So, oh, I'm getting some rain. Slow our roll a little bit. So it takes a while to stop, so it's best to just kind of You always like looking to see if there's anybody else around. The package drop off looks so over on the right. I'm going to stay like this. Okay. I don't know if auto land works in this kind of situation or not. Definitely won't work if your gear's not down. We can try it. But if you just hold the end, you can auto land. I just don't know if you have to like contact the facilities to do that. Yeah, it's not working here, which is fine. I just don't need no stinking auto land. Just go slow. Landing complete. Landing complete. Power off. Power off. Why I had to stand up. Didn't turn my head that time. Aren't you proud of me? Oh, so now we look over here and it says package 454. Package 454 is the closest one. So there we go. Carry you. There we go. And opens the door. Close the door. Best practices. Minus 20 C as soon as we stepped out the door, so it is cold over here. Look at that. Look at that effect. Beautiful. Great job, everybody. Alright, let's get in here. Well, kind, of, kind of stayed uh, minus 20, so. figure out where it wants me to drop this. Sometimes they want me to drop it here. Yeah, okay, so the way this works. Hiya. Hey dude. Alright, so we'll do um drop off. We'll do place. There we go. I just gotta make sure we hit that button right there. We'll get credit for the first one. Delivery is completed. Wait for it and one. Alright, um, I haven't found these, sometimes there's a little place you can go shopping, yeah there's a commodity shop, so you could pick up stuff and then haul that or whatever, but yeah, I'm not going to. I don't know if there's any problem taking up multiple contracts, I think it would just get confusing, but if, if you took multiple contracts, it's possible there'd be a package leaving here going somewhere and you could just take it, right? Oh, there's a freelancer over there. Oh, slipped and fell on my rear end again. Yeah, it's a freelancer over there. It is pretty shit. I'll put my global on, just in case there's someone over there. It's a no shoot over here anyway, luckily for me. Freelancer is a nice ship. Uh. I closed that when I was there.
actually closed at this time, so there's a possibility that someone will us here. A high possibility. Just reading this scroll to see if there's something. Let's just get it. They didn't take my package, so that's good. Probably pissed I parked on the big parking spot. I'll get out of here. See, that's why I, I don't know why we didn't start. Okay, 20th time. Get the hell out of here. Gear up. Landing gear raised. Just see, I'm not I'm not in a no fire here, so oh, he's gonna see me go this way. We're going to go this way. Way to keep them honest. We are spooled, so we should be able to jump to Calipi pretty quick when the time comes. We just want to get the hell out of Dodge. Did we roll over 90? We did. Take it longer. Probably because I'm in I'm in fear for my life. 14k. Alright. F1. Skyline. We're going over to Calipi, I believe. Is it Calipi? I thought it was Calipi. Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna hit that right now. Set route. I'm not even gonna get fancy. We're here. So, F1, or spool, don't mess it up. Try to find that stupid point. Oh, here it is, I think. Some kind of marker over here. Yep. Okay. And Shazam. Enter system, moving, quantum. Perfectly timed, I think. I feel like you're going somewhere, but not too crazy. All right. Now we're gonna. Can we get lucky and find our jump point? Oh, look, we can. Look, our jump point's right there. Okay, standing by. Pisces is made to explore, so we're ready to go. There we go. drop this off and um, I'll stop the recording here it's a pretty good pretty good look at what it's like it's a little dark over here so let's just do a quick ping here yeah see it helps. I don't know what the highlighting stuff is. I feel like it's trying to tell us there's something to that right there, like a structure maybe at five kilometers to the right. I'm a noob, so I could see that it's something, but not what it is. 
You can see how this could be helpful. And when you get down, you can actually see trees, too. So, so there's another little thing over there. Altitude's a little low for my, my comfort here. Slow my roll. Another painting just be safe. Okay. Alright, we have a visual on the target. I don't know if my light's still on or not. No, it is not. Really kind of foggy over here, so I'm just gonna ease her in here. It's a nice little pad right here, I think. Actually, we're going to get out on that side anyway, so I'm going to just check how my rear end is. So I'm fine. Uh, let's go over a little bit. Uh, put Did I put my gear down? Let's just double check. Doesn't look like my gear's down. And it looks like I'm a little far back, too. Uh, let's uh there we go well that could have been embarrassing I don't remember her saying that I had actually gotten on the ground either but whatever all right so, box number 065, 065. Look at this. Carry. Really carry. Yep. Yep. Okay, the front is over here. Minus 96, let's see. So this is cold as heck and I will get, I will get hurt. So I do not want to dally. So my suit is not rated to that. See now it's not red anymore. Sup? Hey. You are looking for the cargo terminal. It's over there. No, I'm not. Yeah, baby. Making, making some money. Actually, I mean, that's not a bad not a bad run. Can't see how much money I have. Why can't I see the credits? Because I'm not local. I can see the credits if I try to buy something. I yeah, see there's Berlin. Beryl, no, not Beryl. Berlin Corindim. I have no idea what that is. So you could buy these in Holly somewhere, but you really want to know. In demand. So You're looking for the cargo terminal. Well, you it's over there. Pipe down. There's no demand. Yeah, so thirty-two thousand, just under with what I started with. So we're we broke even on one run. So not bad. I mean, I could take another mission here or whatever the if I wanted terminal to. terminal should handle that. All right, I'm just going to hopefully not lose my stuff and I'll tab to stop the recording. <laughs>